Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do the daily vibes for around the 29th, okay? So we're just going to see what comes up. Now keep in mind that not every reading is for you. This reading may or may not be for you, and the timing is fluid. I just had two cards fall out as I was shuffling. They both happen to be major arcanas, which tells me that this is the universe, okay? Universe is in control. The universe is, is in power at this moment. Okay, so we have the world and judgment. This happens to be my favorite deck. This is my third time doing the daily vibes for today. I used a different deck the other times. So I decided I have to use my favorite deck. This is the only way it's going to work out. Anyhow, uh, judgment is a card of uh, acceptance. The end of things, life-changing decision. The world is the end of things as well. It's the end of a journey. It's the end of a chapter. Something is coming full circle. Uh, major life decision right here. Um, it is the end of things. It's the end of a trial. It's the end of the journey. Um, stepping into a new experience. It's the end of a life as you know it. Okay, this is a, a starting over. It is starting over. Starting a new journey. Starting a new chapter. It's final. It's finally over. It's finally over. Something is final. Finally over. Um, accepting, releasing, uh, major completion, major, major, major completion, okay? So we have a major completion here. Um, you must accept and allow, um, going with the flow, uh, leaving the past behind with the, with the uh, world card, stepping into a new existence, a whole new you, a whole new world. Traveling in a new direction, seeing very clearly. I do believe that there's been some sort of confusion. There's also been, uh, somebody has been in some sort of situation that wasn't bringing them wish fulfillment. There may have been some sort of nightmare. Um, they may have been pretending to be happy. This, this is like wishing that they never would have done this. It's over. It's over. It's over. Something is definitely over with these two cards, okay? Um, it is the end of things. Okay, something, this is a major ending, okay? Um, being held accountable as well. Judgment is a, a card of accountability. Truth, truth, accepting the truth. So there's going to be some sort of truth that is coming out. Can't hide from the truth. This truth causes an ending. So yes, there's, we definitely have an ending here. It's a big one. Nothing to be ashamed of. It's time to move on anyway. It's time to release. It's time to start over. Hmm. Magician reversed. Magi unplanned. Unplanned ending. This is unplanned. Impulsive. Seven of Cups. I knew that I was going to see that because I said seeing very clearly what the best choice is. Coming out of confusion. Coming out of illusion. Uh, there's consequences here as well with Judgment and Seven of Cups. Being held accountable for actions um, but being forgiven. There's forgiveness here. Anyhow, Magician reversed. Magician reversed. That is no no victory, no success. It's time to go. It's time to go. It's time to choose another option. It is time. It's time to start over. We have a liar here or a trickster that is going to be judged as well. There's karma here. Okay, the magician reverse is somebody that doesn't tell the truth. There's truth that's going to be revealed, okay? There is some sort of, if there's something has been hidden, there's been some lies, there's been some illusion, there's been some sort of poor choices that have been made, whatever, it's time to start over. This is it's time to start over. Somebody has obviously made some poor choices. They're, they're getting some karma right now or they've experienced their karma or there, there's karma here. There is definitely some karma. Um, karmic ending. A wake-up call. Somebody is getting a wake-up call. 
They have no choice but to leave. No choice. The magician reversed is no, and Seven of Cups is choice. No choice but in the world to leave. They have to accept the truth. Oh, definitely the truth, okay? There is some sort of truth that is coming out 100% all the way, no matter what, okay? We got some truth that is coming out, all right? Um, it's the whole truth, nothing but the truth. Get prepared to have a, to receive some challenging information or to uh, have a challenging conversation with somebody, okay? There is some challenging information that is coming. This is a tough decision. This is being judged. Somebody is definitely about to be judged. They're going to be held accountable for their actions. And there's a release here. There's a release. There's forgiveness as well. There is forgiveness. Stepping into a new experience, leaving the past behind, choosing another option, doing the logical thing. The, the King of Swords makes a logical decision. This is, this is intelligent, a very intelligent, informed decision. This is somebody that's in a position of authority that has some sort of truth, going to be speaking the truth. So some truth is about to come out. talk about karma we got it twice okay we got it twice so there is some karma here there is some truth that is about to come out this is uh, the whole truth and nothing but the truth this is a difficult decision but it's time it's time for the verdict it's time for it to end it is time for it to end so there is something that is ending there is no doubt about it seeing very clearly what the best option is. We have a decision maker that is making a judgment call to step into new territory. This is this is big. It's big. The decision is being made. They're, it's like they're and they it feels like they're putting a stop to so they're telling somebody no. That magician reversed is no. There's no success here. There's no success. It's time to accept the truth. Oh, God. Moving. Moving. Somebody's moving. They're moving in a new direction. They're, they're facing the opposition. They're ready. The judgment card is ready. Ready to be judged. Ready to face opposition. Mastering emotions, going somewhere, like moving. So this is definitely movement. We have somebody here that is about to uh, move in a new direction. Their mind is made up. Their mind is made up. There's, I don't think there's any changing their mind. Traveling, moving, taking the lead, taking the reins, getting in the driver's seat, taking control. We have somebody here that is taking control. They have been confused. And they've been they've been confused. They have with the Seven of Cups reversed. But this is coming out of confusion and seeing very, very clearly that it's time to go. Three of Cups reversed. Parting ways. Parting ways from somebody. There's going to be parting ways. There could also be some gossip. Parting ways from a third party. This could be the end of a third party. Whatever it is, this is parting ways. This is This party is over. This party is over. The decision is being made. It's very clear that it's time to go, whatever that means. This is the end. The world card is the end. This is a major accomplishment. Somebody has learned a lesson. They have. They've learned a karmic lesson from probably some sort of illusion that they got themselves involved with. But this is definite clarity, seeing very clearly, getting some information, speaking the truth, just speaking it, you know. I'm ready. I'm ready. Oh, there's an unexpected choice in love here. There could be another lover. Okay, this is a perfect match, right? This is my favorite deck. I knew it was going to work. I knew it was going to work. Anyhow, uh, this is this is it. This is it. This is a perfect match. This is this is. 
This is headed towards that perfect match, making a move, a bold move, doing it. I'm going to do it. I'm going after this perfect match. This is kindred spirits, right? This is soulmates. We have two people that are coming together. They, these two people are meant to be together. It's a perfect match. It's undeniable. We have this individual that was unable to take action because they were confused. Magician reverse next to the seven of cups reverse. They were confused. It's a big deal. It's a big move. It's huge. It's huge. With all these majors, absolutely. Most of these cards are majors. It's universe. The universe is in control. The universe has brought in two people together. This is also Cupid's arrow. You see? You see Cupid's arrow right there? Okay? This is love. This is a perfect, perfect, perfect match. Two people that have shared values that are meant to be together. So this somebody is headed right towards their perfect match after they part ways because that three of cups is in reverse is right there as well. So that's parting ways from a emotionally unfulfilling situation where uh, there's probably a third party or there's cheating or there's uh, meddlers or whatever it is. This is definitely leaving it behind. It's parting ways from friends or family or a relationship where... It was all fun and games for a little while, but it's not fun anymore. It's not even fun anymore. But there's a strong sexual attraction here. There's a strong desire for love. And we have two people here that have a lot in common. I mean, these two people are... I mean, it's easy. It's an easy connection. They can just be themselves. They're being brought together from above. Put it that way. Yeah. From the, from the judgment in the world, it's like it goes judging them right down as the lover's card. This is, this is definitely out of this world, right? It is an out of this world connection. It is meant to be. Somebody is being given a chance. They're being given a, the, the, the judgment card is a chance. They're, given, they're being given a chance to uh, choose love. This is an unexpected choice in love, seeing very, very clearly that it's time to go towards that soulmate. Somebody is choosing to go towards their soulmate after they have been in some sort of fantasy or an illusion or confused, not taking any action, unwilling to shed the old, unwilling to bring in the new, but this is a major change. It really is a life-changing decision. Somebody is making a life, and I think it's spur of the moment. I think it's very spur of the moment, sudden. This is the end of things. Ready, ready, ready to be held accountable, ready to be judged, ready for that new life, ready for success. The world card is success, and the judgment is ready. I'm ready, I'm ready for success. I am, I'm ready. I'm ready for my new life. I'm ready. I see very, very clearly that that I have to part ways to have this love. So that's what the, the I mean, love is an unexpected choice in love. This is this is kindred spirits that have shared values that see eye to eye, right? We have Gemini three times. We have Cancer. We have Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Uh, well, we have Gemini and the Magician, Gemini and Lovers, Gemini and, and the King of Swords. But anybody can take on these energies. We have Scorpio. We have Cancer, I think I believe I said. doesn't matter. We have everybody. So this is, this is releasing, accepting, going with the flow, stepping, stepping in, stepping into new territory, ending that karmic contract. Ooh, I knew it was a perfect match. Queen of Swords and the King of Swords, okay? So I knew it was. When you get two of the same court, we definitely have a perfect match here. We have we have two people that are that are meant to be together. We have all these aspects in our chart. Every single one of us does. So, I mean, you could be the King of Swords even if you're not, okay? Um, 
this is a perfect match, they'll put it that way. We have two soulmates that are coming together that are meant to be together. They are absolutely a perfect match. There's been some sort of illusion, though, that has been standing in the way. Somebody may have made a poor choice. They made a poor judgment call. You know, they were unwilling to take action, but I do believe that action is about to be taken. Somebody's choosing another option. They see very, very clearly that it's time to choose another option. And it, seem, it seems to me, as soon as they make that choice, they step into this new existence. They step into this new world. They step into this new life where they connect with this soulmate. This is a soulmate connection. I don't, I'm positive. I do believe there's going to, we have somebody here that may have their guard up, okay? I mean, the Queen of Swords is somebody, she may be like, are you kidding me? Is this a joke? Um, I'm surprised. You're going to have to think fast. You mean, you, I think that something is arriving. It's arriving very, very, very fast. It may be quite the surprise. I don't even need the tower card to say that. I do feel like it's a surprise. But I feel like the connection is going to be so deep that it's undeniable. This is an undeniable connection. These two people feel the same way about each other. There's no questioning it. There's no, uh, there shouldn't be any questioning it. If you have to question a uh, connection, then that's a red flag. You shouldn't have to. If you have to, then you should move on. Making a decision in regards to love, a very logical decision, moving forward, going someplace, parting ways, Holding on is getting old. Can't do it anymore. Doesn't, does, we have somebody here that is moving forward. They don't want it to end. And holding on to a dead end third party situation is getting old. It's time for a new life. Six of Wands. Six of Wands is a hero, right? This is somebody that doesn't give up. This is a fighter. This is a warrior. This is somebody that uh, will do anything to succeed. This is a winner. This is a yes. This is progress. This is somebody that is uh, going to be putting in effort, has put in effort, or is going to put in effort. This is victory after sorrow. Somebody has been fighting. They have been fighting. They've been playing games. They've been right in the middle of a battle. They've been struggling. They've been struggling with ending a battle. They've been struggling with competition. They've been dealing with a lot of tension in their lives, but it's all coming to an end. This is somebody that is brave, that is taking action. They're all done. They're all done playing games. They're all done fighting. They're all done. They're ready. They're ready for victory. They're ready for success. They're ready to relax. So this is, this is somebody that is, has a lot of life experience, that has fought a little battle, a lot of battles, and they are ready. They're ready to relax. They're ready to uh, stop playing games. Get prepared to see some progress. Get, I think that we have an arrival here. I feel like we have an arrival the six of wands right on top of the chariot that is going someplace we have somebody here that is has made a decision to end some sort of battle right they have or end a competition and underneath it is a three of cups reverse so it's, it's, it's like end a third party situation it's like i'm all done i'm all done playing games and i feel like it's in the nick of time because of that death card the death card reverse it's like something may be nearly ending because of the delay being brave. We have a brave individual here, somebody that is being brave. They are separating from a situation where they're not respected. And I feel like they're also going to be getting some public recognition. We have a we have somebody here that is a star, you know, that is a star that is going to be getting some sort of public recognition. 
It's almost like for their service. Ace of Pentacles. This is yes. This is yes. This is a new investment. This is this is a gift. This is a miracle. This is a golden opportunity for long-term stability. This is something solid, something real, something you can touch. Somebody has received a gift or they are receiving a gift. This is something you can take to the bank, something you can hold on to. This is a gift from God, okay? It really is. So somebody is receiving a gift. They're going down a new path. This new path that they have decided to go down is huge abundance. This is huge. Going through a new doorway does lead to a union that is going to last. Okay, this is something solid. It is something stable. It is something real. It is what you asked for. This is what you asked for. Manifested. The Ace of Pentacles about manifestation. It's huge. Somebody is going to be receiving something huge. It does have to do with a partnership that is very compatible. This is this is it. It is very, 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 very compatible. Whatever it is, it's solid. It's secure. Somebody's going to re be receiving a secure offer that, that lasts a long time with the world card. And it's like mirroring. Now the world card is mirroring the Ace of Pentacles. This lasts. Okay, it lasts a long time. It's a long journey ahead. It's a long-term thing. Somebody is receiving an opportunity that is long-term. This is this will this will be their next chapter, right? It's not just like a year, right? It's the next chapter of their lives. And it does lead to victory with that Six of Wands. It does. It's almost like till death do us part. This could have to do with marriage. I don't know. Anyhow. There could be a reconciliation here as well between soulmates. Maybe it's past life soulmates. It's like the judgment card is past life. Okay, past life. So this could be a past life soulmate connection where these two people are coming together in this lifetime. Whatever it is, it could be that and that would be considered a reconciliation. Anyhow, congratulations if this is for you. Good luck.